Hello everybody, this is going to be a video series where we are going to upgrade the L96 platform. In this video we are going to upgrade the cylinder components and trigger box to gain higher FPS and consistency. In part 2 we are going to upgrade the inner barrel and install a flat hop. The upgraded piston is aluminum, the spring guide is a steel ball bearing spring guide and the spring is a 550 FPS spring that is going to be cut down to 490 FPS. The trigger is a Bigotti CNC 90 degree adjustable trigger with a CNC aluminum shell and tool steel sears. First assemble the upper from the lower, then turn the upper upside down and remove the pin holding the cylinder in the gun. Then you can remove the two screws holding the trigger box to the gun. When you have removed the trigger box, you can pull out the bolt assembly. Remove the cylinder head with some needle nose pliers, take out the stock internals and put them to the side. You can see a rod in the cylinder and a hole in the spring guide. You have to line these up in order to slide the spring guide down the cylinder. Then you can just slide the upgraded spring and piston in. Make sure you lubricate the o-ring on the piston with some silicone lube. When you have put in the piston, you can screw the cylinder head back onto the cylinder. When finished, you can just spray some silicone lube on the spring and spring guide. The Bugatti trigger comes with a trigger box, a new cylinder stop, Allen keys and screws. Before installing the 90 degree trigger box, you'll have to file down some of the receiver in order for it to function properly. File down the hole about 1 to 1.5 mm. This should enable the sear to go back all the way. Once you filed it down and cleaned up the inside, you can put the new trigger box onto the receiver with the Allen screws. Then check if the sear can go all the way back without sticking out on the top. If this is not the case, you will have to file down some more material until the sear can go all the way flat. If your sear can go all the way back, then you can clean up the inside, lube your cylinder and put it back in.
When you put the cylinder stop into the trigger box, make sure you use the original one, not the one that came with the trigger box. After this, test fire to make sure everything works. And lastly, you can adjust the trigger pull and weight by adjusting these two allen keys. I hope you enjoyed this video, part 2 should be uploaded in a couple of days. If you like this video, be sure to check out any of our other videos and subscribe.